Okay, so here we are at Kittle.com and you can see that there are a variety of templates in different sizes. Some are squares, some are more vertical. You can choose to click logos and you'll see a variety of logos. Everything is customizable, the colors, the fonts, the graphics, even the backgrounds, okay? You can use the filters at the far right to find the type of logo you want. Maybe you want minimal, and then you've got your minimal logos here. Okay, you've got labels, right? So these are interesting kinds of labels. Again, you can change everything on here. And the ones I like often are the t-shirts. Some amazing designs in here, some really good designers, and they've broken it down into categories. You can check the featured ones and you can see what's trending. And you can sort also by recent for the newest uploads. Okay. And you can even start a new project at the top right by hitting new project. And then you could just hit the shortcut on your keyboard. The letter T will bring up the text. Let's do this, this, right? So again, we can change our font over here on the right to, I don't know, fat face. Um, you can upload your own font in the pro and expert versions. And I've uploaded mine, which is Barlow. So I'm going to go for extra bold. And let's do this, right? So again, I can click on it. I can uh, center it using the right hand side. This right hand panel has some amazing options. You can change the type of text and add nice effects to it. Stripey ones, outlined ones. You can change the colors of the outline. We, maybe we want it red. So you can just have a play with that. Um, I quite like this one actually. And you can use the left hand panel to add some elements to it. So there's all kinds of elements here, badges, panels, components, or you can type in something like beach, for instance, and you're going to get some beach stuff. So we can add a wave to our design. This is pretty ugly, of course, but now, now that we've added the wave in, we can change the colors to kind of match the wave another color and the same for, let's get rid of that black and let's make it the pale blue there you go that's nice right we can change the spacing and that sort of thing or we can put it all on one line and then we do our center and middle again there's even some textures so we could add some textures to it we maybe want it on a brick wall and now there's a brick wall we can change the background color so you can see the actual brick wall better. Um, or we can get rid of the background texture, whatever we want. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of the background by just clicking on delete, and now it's back to what it was. Okay, we can change the whole project colors down here at the bottom as well. So we can maybe make them darker or lighter. And once we're ready to download it, I would name it. So let's call it T-shirt, T-shirt. Um, let's do this. And if you're using it for print on demand, two things I would recommend. Number one, we're going to change our actual canvas to 4,500 by 5,400, which is kind of an industry standard. Thanks to merch by Amazon. I'm just going to make it, oops, I'm going to make it much bigger, a little bit smaller now and make sure that it's centered. And now I'm also, when I go to download, I wanna make sure I remove the gray background because I want it to be able to go on any color. But one way to check how it's gonna look on any color is click on the background color and move it around. And then you can see what it's gonna look like on different colors. White and black generally is a good go. So yeah, I don't really like that gray font outline. So let's make it, um, the the blue or I don't know even a yellow something different to add a little bit of contrast to it now that I'm ready all I'm going to do is hit download 
and I, I'm going to remove the background. So I'm going to slide that and I'm going to choose PNG and now it's downloaded. So just to give you a quick look at the subscription options with Kittle, there is a free version, a pro version and an expert version. It's the free version is fine for you to kind of just dip your toe in the water. But if you were going to be using it for anything print on demand related, I would recommend you at least go for pro if not expert and the kind folks at Kittle have given my users, followers, subscribers, three months of free Kittle Pro if you use my link. Now, this wasn't a full on tutorial. I would recommend that you follow the Kittle YouTube channel because Drew especially does all kinds of fantastic tutorials on really how to use Kittle in amazing different ways. And he does it way better than I could. So, so I'm just going to recommend that you follow Kittle on YouTube to, to make sure that you get those in-depth Kittle tutorials. They're awesome. This was just a brief introduction to kind of show you around the tool. I absolutely love it. Well, that's it for another graphic design tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Be sure to use my link to test drive Kittle Pro for free for three whole months. If you want to learn about more awesome tools like this, surf on over to theanukem.co.uk slash links. I've compiled an amazing array of recommended creativity tools, free resources, extended trials, and much more. You can even join my Thea's One Thing 15 Second Weekly Newsletter where I share one tip, tool, or tutorial about business, creativity, and productivity every week. That's all for now, so until next time, I'm Thea, saying see ya.